Hello everyone. Uh, I'm feeling surprisingly gay today. No, not really. Anyway, um, I've been getting into the audition craze lately, and I saw a thing open for a Final Fantasy fan dub thing. And, um, what the fuck was I gonna say? Oh, uh, yeah. And it was for, um, non fan dubs. At least I think that was your name. I'm sorry if I got it wrong. Having a hard time remembering stuff today. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm a girl, but even so, I'm going to be auditioning for Sid Highwind and Tifa Lockhart. So, this should be interesting. Well, let's get started. Captain, I'm the captain. His name is Sid. Everyone calls me captain, though. What do you want? Wow, not bad for a kid. Alright then, I'll explain it to you. You know, Shinra developed a lot of technological gadgets during the Meaningless War, right? Now it's a Mako company. But in the old days, it was a weapons manufacturer. Well, they came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about the thought of going into outer space. Our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it and made prototype after prototype. Finally, they completed Shinra number 26. They chose the best pilot in Shinra. No, in the world, me. I mean, come on. Finally, we get to the day of the launch. Everything was going well. But because of that dumbass Shara, the launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. And so Shinra nixed their out of space exploration plans. After they told me about the future was space exploration, I got my damn hopes up. Damn them. Then it was all over once they found Ma out Mako Energy was profitable. They didn't even so much as look at space exploration. Money, Mula, Dinero. My dream was a financial number for them. Look at this busted rocket. I was supposed to be the first man in space with this. Every day it tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know which will come first. This thing falling down or me getting out of here. My last hope is to talk to the president. Yeah, it must be news about restarting the space program. A young president, that's what we need. He still has dreams, too. You out of your fucking mind? That's my most cherished possession. I can't let you take it. Marlene, aren't you going to say anything to Cloud? Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? I should have known. He's always pushing people around, and you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. Hmm, you've grown up. When you were little, you used to get into fights at the drop of a hat. Flowers? How nice. You almost never see them here in the slums. But, a flower for me? Oh, Cloud, you shouldn't have. Thank you, Cloud. It smells wonderful. Maybe I should fill the store with flowers. I should have known. He's always pushing people around, and you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. Hmm, you've grown up. When you were little, you used to get into fights at the drop of a hat. Flowers? How nice. You almost never see them here in the slums, but... about that line. Oh, shit. This is what I get for not playing the game in, like, years. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't say that line. I'm, I'm gonna have to try. Um, uh, a flower for me? <laughs> Cloud, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I hope I get the part of Sid. At least then I get to talk like a redneck. I don't have to say any cheesy lines and feel like I'm being raped via computer. Oh, wait, is this fucking thing still on? Oh, shit.